So we took a walk back to the dairy side of the park. So on this side, um, the dairy cows are in these barns, and this is actually the milking parlor. So um, are you girls milking cows back here? We no, are not. we're making milkshakes. Oh, okay. All right, so tell us each one of your names and tell us what 4-H club you're in. Annika Kohler, and I'm in Loco Llamas 4-H club. I'm Lily Einke, and I'm also in Loco Llamas 4-H club. <laughs> I'm Emma Hoddle, and I'm also in the Loco Llamas. Now, do llamas give milk? Um, mothers lactate when their kid, when their babies are born, um, but no, we don't milk them. <laughs> okay, I was just checking. I just wanted to, want to make sure. So you're working to raise money for your club? Yes, okay. we're um, helping out the Southernsville Superstars for the day and making a chase for them when we make the profits for today. So it's, it's hard. You'll see a lot of that working together um, around the park. When the 4-H'ers show, it's hard for them to be running a booth and, and so today was a dairy show. Yes. So they were out doing that. So then the llama club came and, and did this. So that, that's really good. So tell us about your llamas. Um, I have a llama named Suppressa. She's black and she's about um, six years old. Um, and she, we go to shows with her. She lives on the farm, Spring Cove Farm in Queenstown, Maryland. It's about two minutes away from here. Um, but yeah, she's good. I've had her for about three years. Is she here at the fair? She is here at the fair. So right have you there. shown yet? Um, we had a demo on Tuesday night at five o'clock. Okay, very good. And tell me about yours. Um, my name is Sugar Bear and he's great. Um, we've won grand champion the past two shows that we've been at. So he's been a really good boy. And, and where's he's, yours? He's also at the fair. Okay. He's a white and brown paint llama. Okay. Okay. And he's good. 15. He's 15. Um, mine is Salsa, and she's probably around 10 years old, and she only answers to Spanish commands. Oh! So you got to practice your Spanish for that one. Wow! And she's also here at the fair. So lives, where did she come from to learn Spanish? Oh uh, well, um, there's a vet that lives on the farm where she is, and he originally trained her to speak Spanish. So he was the only one to know <laughs> how to talk to her. But then I also am pretty good at Spanish, so oh. yeah. Very good. So you can see now that uh, our 4-H'ers are bilingual. We, we, we even talked to our animals that way. Good. So anything else you want to... Tell me what's your favorite thing at the fair. My favorite thing at the fair is the ice cream. Oh. I love the um, ice cream stand right over there. Okay. That's my favorite ever. I personally love watching the pig shows. Uh, okay. That's good. I love the goats. Okay. All yeah. right. So you see everybody likes something different at the fair. Yeah, yeah. We were getting ready to leave the... Uh, uh, milkshake booth, uh, we discovered there was another club member that we missed. So I think she might be the youngest member, so tell us what your name is. Cleveland Sweeney. So you have a special tag on your shirt. Tell me about your tag. Um, I am the ambassador for the Poets Llama Group. And what does that mean? What did you have to do by being the ambassador? So I had to do a speech and I went and and there was like this train that went around um, the horse. Um, the horse train? Yeah, the horse train. And then there was a tractor pulling us right. around the horse train. And like all the ambassadors would be in it. And, and I was just in the block feeding my llamas. Oh, you okay. You, okay, so you want to take us down and show us your llamas? Yeah. Okay, so Breezy, tell us about your llama. Uh oh, she's trying to get away. Hold on. Oh, she want, oh, she's hungry? Yep. Oh, he, like, um, he just likes grain no matter what. I've been feeding him um, a lot of grain. He, I've been letting other people feed him, and he must just be hungry again. What's, what's his name? Lordy. Lordy? Yep. Oh, okay. Oh, back over here. There you go. So how old is Lordy? Eight, 17. How old is he? 17. 17. Is that old for a llama? Um, they, yeah, he's about like, kind of. Is he a teenager? Yeah, okay. because he's a, they, um, and they get up to really like 40. Okay, all right, so he's, he's, he's a teenager. Okay, what else do you want to tell me about your llama? Um, he, right now, he kind of wants to speak. Because he's like nuzzling against the microphone and... Is he curious? Yeah. Okay. Alright. So we'll let you put him back. 
Thank you for showing us.